parts must be burr free. How many times have you seen this specification? What exactly does it mean? There's no industry standard with regard to deburring, making this specification difficult to comply with. Within the past two decades, fabricating industry technology has moved forward, from punch presses to laser cutters and now water jets. But the deburring industry has remained at a near standstill until now. The first step in effective deburring should be clearly defining the desired edge. In years past, it was common practice to simply run a part through an abrasive belt machine, scratch the surface, and consider that deburred. This process, known as graining, looked nice, but just moved the vertical burr horizontally into the hole and created a sharp edge. Today's specifications on blueprints state, parts must be burr-free. This specification is difficult to comply with because an industry standard does not exist. Burr removal is specific to every job and is defined by the customer's demands. Once we've clearly defined the desired edge, two main components of deburring equipment come into play. The first is the contact drum, which drives and supports an abrasive belt. The hardness of this drum, known as durometer or shore, plays an important part in the deburring and finishing process. The harder the drum, the more aggressive the material removal. The softer the drum, the more flexible the abrasive belt, allowing it to conform to the shape of the part and provide a properly deburred edge. Another valuable part of the equation is speeds and feeds. As in any machining process, speeds and feeds equate to finish. The speed of the abrasive belt and the speed of the conveyor belt determine your finish. This also has a major effect on your abrasive belt life, as one speed does not suit all applications. The other variable is brushes. In the past few years, manufacturers and job shops alike have realized the benefits of belt brush combination machines. In these illustrations, we show the effect the brush has on the deburring process. As you can see, the abrasive belt with a soft contact drum has a high abrading pressure on the burr, but low impact on the surface of the material. The soft contact drum, combined with low speed on the abrasive belt, as well as the conveyor, allows the belt to work only on the burrs. The brush follows behind the belt and reaches into the holes and over the edges, removing the secondary burr. This process works so well that you can deburr galvanized steel without removing the coating. There are many types of brushes available. Stainless steel, nylon, and Scotch-Brite are a few popular examples. With the increased use of lasers in the industry, oxidation has become a real issue. Our newest brush technology directly addresses this widespread problem. It's called ECS, the Edge Contour System. These top brushes are an innovative vertical brush design that provide two inches of travel at 120 strokes per minute of electric oscillation. The benefits are remarkable. Oxidation removal and deburring of all edges and holes, even with traditionally hard to deburr pieces like galvanized steel, upformed parts with tabs, and PVC coated materials, it's all fair game with the edge contour system. This new design saves time and money by eliminating the costly process of oxidation removal via acid, phosphate, or sandblasting, while simultaneously deburring. Your application and samples of your materials will dictate which brush is best suited for you. With the right belt brush ECS combo, deburring is both time and cost efficient. We know the burr is our problem, and we know the tools that we need to fix it. Now it's time to apply that knowledge and configure the right deburring equipment for your needs. Looking over the many configurations of machines can get very confusing. Let's review a common application. A typical job shop, a couple of turrets, maybe a laser. 
they need flexibility to cover the wide spectrum of jobs they process. Most would go with a belt brush combo with multiple abrasive belt speeds and a quick change brush. Although in recent years, higher labor costs have increased sales of three and four head machines. Both setups are versatile and flexible. They are deburring and graining in the same machine. Steelmaster provides the flexibility to get this job accomplished quickly and efficiently. Your particular application would determine which machine configuration best suits your needs. Part samples that have been processed with the appropriate configuration should be the final judge. Finally, you need to determine whether a wet or dry machine would best suit your needs. For years, dry machines have been the status quo. They typically require less maintenance than wet machines, but have their own sets of problems. Reduced belt life and dusty parts that shorten tool life elsewhere in the shop are hidden costs that can't be ignored. Wet machines have been given a credibility boost with the introduction of Boot Furring's line of Steelmaster deburring machines. Durability and reliability are the reasons. Recessed bearings with shaft seals and O-rings keep water and grit out of critical parts, and the use of a cathodic emergence system to protect against metal corrosion prolongs machine life and reduces maintenance. Time-consuming conveyor belt changes are also a thing of the past. On competitors' machines, conveyor belt replacement could take more than an entire working day. AM Machinery Sales offers a hinged lace conveyor belt that reduces replacement time to less than an hour. No machine disassembly is required and there are no dead zones. Since 1946, boot furring has specialized in the development of abrasive wide belt machines. This tight-knit, family-run business has worked closely with AM Machinery Sales to develop a line of metal deburring machines. Extensive research and development led to the Steelmaster design. Steelmaster is a pioneer in the field of reliable, durable, wet design deburring machines. Readily available off-the-shelf components and an exhaustive, thorough engineering process reduced problems that had been inherent to wet designs. Today, Boot Furring produces over 500 machines a year and ships them worldwide. Steelmaster frames are constructed of three-quarter inch plate steel. This eliminates twisting that's often found in inferior tube and sheet metal designs. It is one of the features that allow Steelmaster machines to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The purpose of the adjustable contact drum is to accommodate different belt thicknesses and also to allow the proper grinding pressure to be applied to the workpiece without overheating the part. Additional belt life and the ability to run Scotch-Brite belts without resetting all of the pinch rollers are other added benefits of this feature. This is standard on all Steelmaster machines. All the bearings in a Steelmaster machine are internally mounted and sealed with an O-ring and cover plate. Remember, if you can see the bearing, so can dirt and water. This design is exclusive to the Steelmaster line and allows us to offer the best bearing life warranty in the business. Steelmaster wet machines are built from the ground up. The conveyor table on our wet machine is fixed to the lower frame. The material thickness gap is adjusted by external jack screws, protecting them from moisture that they'd be subject to in other manufacturers' machines. Our uniquely designed pinch rollers have a larger diameter on the outer edges to keep the conveyor belt from curling up, preventing premature wear. Safety is a huge concern with Steelmaster. Our electronic brake design stops in four seconds for the life of the machine.